Welcome to TV Savalas. I'm here with Miss Kaylani. Um, great inspirational story, young African American woman out here doing positive, great things for herself and for her future. Yes. And so, um, you, I'm just gonna get into it real quick. So, um, where are you originally from? Because you're not from the Bay, are you? No, I am not. I actually just moved here in August, so I've been here for about three months. I am born and raised in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Both of my parents are from Jamaica, so I'm like the only one that's from Florida. So I have that Jamaican background and the Florida background in me. <laughs> nice. I did not know that. That's yeah. amazing. So have you um, been to Jamaica? Um, I have. I'm actually going. I'm planning a birthday bash for next for June. My birthday's in June. So I'm actually planning a birthday bash for my birthday there. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, welcome to California. Thank you. And um, so what? What's your thoughts on the wildfires that you've been seeing around the news? Wow, okay. Well, in my opinion, that's it's insane how there's so much wildfire going on. Initially, when I first moved to California, I was unaware of all the wildfires that were happening. And when I moved here and started realizing, I was like looking at uh, so many people's grasses, like just as going down the streets. And I'm like, there's a lot of burnt grass. And when I thought about it, it's because there's not a lot of rain here. There's barely any rain. From since I've been here from August up until now, we probably got like rain once out of that entire time and it's actually pretty scary in my opinion it's very very scary about what's happening um and what they're doing to actually solve the problem right yes. yeah it's, it's really tough um so one of the reasons why i contacted you about doing an interview for the youtube channel is that um you're an entrepreneur and i yes. love that so uh can you please tell me uh, what sparked your interest in entrepreneurship? Yeah, of course, of course. Well, that's an interesting story. Um, my entrepreneur journey actually started in February of 2018, last year. Um, how that came about was because I was working as a part-time office assistant. I was a full-time college student, and uh, with the job that I was working at, it, I wasn't. It was. I was not demanded to be there. It wasn't something that it was necessary for me to be there. So one day I decided, you know, I'm gonna book a trip to go somewhere. And I booked a trip, and my manager was like, "You're not going." And I was like, "What do you mean I'm not going? I booked it. I'm going." And she's like, "No, if you're going, if you go, you have no job." And that was like a light bulb moment in my head. I was like. I'm only 21 at the time and I'm like, people are working 40 hours a day for 40 years and they're getting told what to do. Right. And I was, I'm all about freedom. I've always had this strong desire for freedom. And when I felt that my, I felt like my freedom was taken from me, that's where I literally, I went home that day, I Google searched like, how do I become a millionaire? Uh. And it said, the first thing it said was investing in financial markets and starting a business. And then of course being like an actor or a, a basketball player or something of that sort. So I was like, okay, I can start a business. So that's where that started. And then I started selling body scrubs. That's where my first business venture started. And I started, luckily I started within the fourth quarter and I didn't know any of, about any of this fourth quarter stuff. Like I had no knowledge on entrepreneurship. I was just on YouTube. Right. And I started, uh, there was a bunch of girls that I followed that were my age and they were making all this money online. And I'm like, they don't work jobs, they have freedom. Like, how are they making money online? So I started looking into network marketing. So that's where I started my online journey and my entrepreneur journney. That's an amazing story. Yeah. The uh, key thing about that is you took action. Oh, I took a lot of action. I tell people all the time, it's God. <laughs> like, I have so much courage in me. And a lot of people, I realize a lot of people don't have that courage because like, for me to spontaneously just quit my job and say like, I'm done. Like, I was getting paid guys $250 every week. On that Friday, when she told me that I could not go, I took that last $250 and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I have to do something. And with that 250, I invested into a program to teach me about business and network marketing. That's amazing. Yeah. Very uh, inspirational, it's encouraging. Like, if you can do it, like, we anyone all can do it, right? Yeah, it's really just persistence. It's a lot of people don't realize, like, in the beginning, it's, a, you, it's harder because you don't have an audience. You don't have anyone to, you know, sell, sell your products to or anyone to buy your products or things like that. But all that it takes is persistence, continuation, doing it over and over and over again and sharing your story. It's amazing. Uh, can you please speak a little bit about uh, Forex? Yeah, of course. Please. So like I had said, when I looked up how uh, to go about um, 
uh, becoming a millionaire, it said the first thing to do is investing in financial markets. Okay. So prior, I didn't know anything about Forex, like none of that, I didn't know anything about it. When I started my network and marketing journey, uh, I had a friend who was like, do you know anything about Forex? And I was like, no. So I Googled it. I was like, what is Forex? And it was like the exchange of foreign currencies. So at that moment, my mindset was like, that's why I know I'm completely different. My mindset was, oh my goodness, if I can really learn this skill set, I can retire my parents. <laughs> like, that's what I was thinking. So I was like, I have to learn this skill set. So within my first, I started uh, learning the skill set June of 2018 last year. And my first four months, it was the hardest four months of literally like my entire life because it's such a, a, a huge learning process. You have to dedicate a lot of your time. You have to make a lot of sacrifices. It got to a point where I stopped going out. Like, I don't have friends right now. Like, we don't have time for friends. Like, I have to do this. Like, my family thought I was crazy. Like, everyone's thinking I'm crazy, but it's because I was making all these sacrifices. But people don't realize it that it's the sacrifices that put you above, put you ahead. Why everybody's out partying especially with my age I'm only 23 so with all the people my age when I'm starting this at 21 they're still partying and I'm like no I can't go anywhere I gotta study like I stopped watching TV I stopped all of that because I needed to learn the skill set so how long did it take you to get the skill set to be kind of okay with it? about six months okay so six you, months of like straight like dedication so you dedicated six months six no months friends, no partying for the most part yep nothing just, I barely even do it now because I feel so I'm so content with the freedom that I have like I'm not I feel like my mindset back then you know about going out and just like making an appearance and things were different then when I want to make an appearance now I want to make an appearance for something like this to be able to share my story with other people not to make an appearance at a club that's amazing so with, with Forex is it just like an individual thing or do you have a group I have a team okay. I actually I currently have a team of about 300 people nice. right now yes I know super exciting and I train them they actually go through the training and I'm their mentor so we have sessions throughout the week all throughout the week I host sessions on Wednesdays Mondays Fridays and um, on Saturday and the market opens every Sunday so usually we have a Sunday meeting before the market opens so if anybody wanted to and want to contact you about Forex? And yes, definitely. If you were interested learn? in learning more about Forex, you can add me on Facebook at Kaylani Oscar. You'd spell my name K-H-A-Y-L-A-N-I, last name Oscar. Add me a add me as a friend and send me a, a message. So that's more so stocks? Um, well, it's complete. It's actually completely different. So okay. what Forex is, is that foreign exchange is different currencies. When it comes to stocks, that's actual companies like Apple and things like that. So when you're investing into the stock market, you make money as that stock is rising. But when it drops, you're losing that money. In the foreign exchange market, if a certain currency or country is uh, dropping, you're able to still capitalize on that currency failing, unfortunately, but you're still able to make money as the market's rising and dropping. We're buying and selling different currencies based off of the, the different rates. Okay, so you're buying some currencies. We're buying not, and selling. Not yeah, we're oh, not okay. doing we're not doing anything with companies. So I'll okay. be exchanging like the euro the euro with the USD, okay. the Great British Pound with the yen, nice. like that. Um, well, this is not even on my questions, but I'm gonna ask you this: Have you traveled outside the country? Like, um, I did in July, but I just went to the Bahamas, so it really wasn't much. Yeah. Um, you also not just with that, but um, you also. Uh, I'm going to Thailand next Thailand uh, next month, so I'm so Thailand. excited. I'm so excited about um, that. Hadia Beach, Bangkok. This is all yeah. We're going to Phuket uh, and Singapore too. Singapore, I've been to Singapore. Yeah. It's really clean, really amazing. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, I was in the military, so that's how I've been to like. Oh, okay. Um, so you, you have to exchange currencies. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a lot of that going on. Um, so you also dibble and dabble in real estate investing as well. Right? Yes, uh, wholesaling. Nice. So I um you know, as an entrepreneur and when you start educating yourself about financial literacy, you start learning a little bit more about how people are actually becoming financially free. So one of the biggest things that I've learned from previous entrepreneurs and just what I'm uh, learning now is that a lot of people invest into real estate. Real estate is how they are creating residual income for themselves because that's the ultimate goal in life. You want to be able to be 40 and 50 hanging on your yachts while still being able to have an income coming in. So that's what my goal is. So as I became a little bit, still learning more about financial literacy, I started to dabble into real estate. 
So I started to dabble into wholesaling. I go to um, real estate meetups to network and connect with other people who like minded individuals that can help me and I can help them. With uh, the meetups and, and real estate and networking, um, how do you find these connections? Is it, if you want some app or do you just Google? Yeah, so there's an app called Meetup. So uh, with that Meetup app, that's how you're able to find any type of meetups you want. They have like homeschool meetups for people that are homeschooled for real estate, for any type of meetup you want, you could search. And they have, uh, this area is like great for this. Uh, Fort Lauderdale was great, but if you're like in a small town, most likely there's not many meetups, but like the Bay, there's meetups every day. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we're gonna just about wrap it up, but my, one of my last questions is, um, how do you balance everything that you do? Especially being so young. Yeah, I literally God. <laughs> like I can't even take control because if I try to take control, that's where things just start getting messed up. Like I have to get to a point where you know you have to stay. Uh, you have to have a schedule for yourself so that you know what you need to get done. But uh, it does get hard. But like I said, I'm never in control of what's happening, and I always just leave it up to God. It's amazing. I want to thank you for your time once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this interview and interviewing me. Uh, no problem. And I wish you much success. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Same to you.